My name is Tegan Berlin and I am a junior from Miller North High School. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. The poem I'm sharing with you today is called The Garden That Engulfed Me. I had my own garden. I loved to see it flourish. A true testament to my own personal growth. To see the flowers reach tall and open their petals was a beautiful experience. These petals were proud of their accomplishments. It was like ascending notes of a major scale. It sounded pleasant to my ear. But eventually, I got tired of my garden. I hated how it made me feel. If watching my garden grow was a major scale, now I felt like a minor scale, out of place and unstable. It seemed like I had to keep a facade of a perfect garden. I had been holding on too long to the idea of being pristine. And what if I don't want my garden to look perfect? It was too polished, and it was no longer an accurate representation of me. I hated how I had to pretend that I liked the way the flowers looked. They were boring and plain. This garden was so sad. I started to water the weeds, dig up the dirt, and rip the flowers out. This wasn't an easy decision, but I realized it was inevitable. I'd thought about destruction much before, but could never bring myself to do it. But once I started, I couldn't stop. The pain I felt from ripping out each individual petal hurt, but it was interrupted by me ripping out another one, and I was scared of what I could do. I know my garden shouldn't look like this, and I shouldn't want it to look like this, but it was satisfying. The tilled land, crowding weeds everywhere, and invasive vines, something about it was comforting in a sick way. It felt like the pang of hearing a sad chord progression. It evokes deep emotions in you, but the chords sound so hauntingly beautiful. It seemed like making myself feel bad was the only way to make myself feel good, but I liked knowing that I could take my emotions out on something that was mine and only mine. Mine. I could rip out all the flowers I wanted and no one could do anything. My garden is now a mess, an out-of-tune symphony playing a masterfully written movement incorrectly but acting like nothing is wrong. I take a step back and look at this. I've made a mess. I destroyed something that should have never been messed with. I have scratches from thorns on my arms. I have specks of mud on my legs. I tried to be everything I was expected to be and I'm just tired. And now, my garden is an accurate representation of me. Conventionally, my garden is ugly, but I love how it looks. To me, it seems so real and honest. This was what being proud of your accomplishment should feel like, being able to take action to release your feelings. It makes me sound evil and wrong, but it felt so good to ruin something that could never be repaired.